I'm Tim Buttles, and this aircraft behind me is a very low-budget aircraft that, oh, a little bit of Cub, a little bit of uh, Taylor Craft, and just a low-budget aircraft that uh, I enjoy flying. I do not want debts. I can't afford them. At the present time in the airplane, I have uh, $6,200. Now, the labor doesn't pay anything, but watching TV doesn't pay anything either. So you have a choice. Either you're, you're watching TV or you're going to build an airplane. Well, the front struts are from J3 and the back ones are from PA11. So they kind of, they work pretty nice. And this is a very expensive, jury struts are not cheap. So these are just round tubing with plastic. This plastic is uh, something like a dollar a foot. And it's glued to the tubing and it looks good and it saved a lot of money. The latches uh, on the cowling, they're, they're a very expensive item. But due to the fact that uh, this guy had only the top part of the latches and he didn't have the bottom, I got thinking, what can I use? So I looked in the silverware drawer and we had spoons. Well, those spoons work real nice. I welded tabs on them and put a little uh, tab on them and now the spoons are the bottom part of that, that latch that I got free. Otherwise, those latches could cost you as much as $400. Now, normally I would have a nice round windshield, but they're not too cheap. They're about $400, and some are as low as $250, but this was $40. I just bought this tubing, and I had to put a flat piece on it like a tailwind, and it works great to save a lot of money, and it works good. Wooden spars were, at the time, $160 apiece. Metal ones were $90, so I bought the metal ones. The uh, oil temperature gauge is $12 from Fleet Farm because it's a water temperature gauge for Macar. Works real good for that. And the oil temperature gauge, that's $5 or so. Well, the tail feathers on this aircraft came from a tailor craft. They were $10 each. And the striping, well, I go to the automotive stores and they mix and match uh, paint quite often. And you'll get it for sometimes $0.10 cents on the dollar for paint. So if you find something that doesn't match somebody's car, well you can sure get it and put it on the aircraft. The tail wheel on this airplane, well, that's a bogey wheel from a snowmobile. They're a whole lot cheaper because they're laying around free. And uh, I didn't want to buy a tail wheel spring because that cost too much money, so we just run a, a shaft up the, the post in the, in the fuselage and put car valve springs on there, and it works pretty good. So if you ever break the tail wheel off, I have it flat under there so it's like a skid, so if you have to get home, you've got a skid. As far as a, my gauge, it's just a uh, local, uh, like a snowmobile hose or something like that. It's just uh, used for the gauge. Uh, the shock cords, for example, normally on a Cub you have four of them, but that's not cheap. So I bought them from a Tri-Pacer where the airplane weighs twice as much as a Cub, fully loaded, of course. And uh, so I only use one on each side. Works great, and it saved me half the money. You ask them, these old-timers, hey, do you know if anybody has any tubing laying around? Well, they'll start thinking about it, and before you know it, they know if somebody has tubing, if that's the, the way you want to go. Friendship is very, very important in this whole thing. That's what it's all about. And especially in aviation, you find such fine people. Put this thing in this old hair. Most anybody can do it. If I can, most anybody can do it. Actually, the lack of money has become a very... I call it good education, and it, it, it gives me, if I did have a dollar, I'd still be doing the same things I am because I enjoy it so well.